Hi and hello. I'm Katie from the Sneaker Ranch Branch Library, and this is a beginner's guide to USB drives. This easily accessible storage device can be found at any and all general stores, including grocery stores, convenience stores, and even dollar stores. USBs will come in all shapes and sizes, but the important difference between the devices is the storage capability. Larger data requires larger storage. Typically, USB storage is measured in gigabytes. Abbreviated will be seen as GB. Data that can be accessed and transferred with USB drives include pictures, documents, music, and videos. When saving this data with a flash drive, it's important to have access to a computer with USB ports. USB ports will be located either on the computer tower, also called the computer cabinet or case, or the left-hand side of the monitor or screen. You will begin using a USB flash drive by inserting the USB into the computer port. The best use of a USB flash drive is to access data from multiple computers. This feature is great for students or anyone needing to work in multiple locations and computer devices. Now that my data has been saved into my flash drive, I can access my data with any computer with a USB port. Do you think? Okay. All right, here's my flash drive. Cat removes the USB is shown. And my USB port for this laptop is right here on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and place that in. And we hear a connection. Okie doke. Looking at my screen, sometimes when a USB flash drive is connected to computer, at the bottom right of the screen, on my taskbar, you might get an icon indicating the computer is reading or verified a flash drive. Here, you would see my icon indicating that my computer has connected to the flash drive. To access your flash drive files, you will need to open up the files application. On Windows, this will be labeled as File Explorer. On the left hand side of the panel, I will find my flash drive under computer. By clicking into that flash drive, I have access to my files saved on the flash drive. I can double click on any of the data to open this file. Adding data into the fast drive is just as easy as dragging the item and dropping it into the files folder. To open, we'll double click, close by the X. To delete a file onto the flash drive, first we'll need to highlight the title. We can either hit delete on the keyboard or we can right click onto the title of the file that we wish to delete. When the right click menu pops up, we'll hover over until we see delete and click into delete and confirm to delete this. And we do see that the file is deleted from my flash drive, not from the computer. If I'm working on a document saved from the flash drive and I want to open it through another application, for example, a Word document, and I tweak the original document just by clicking save on the top left corner of the screen, the document will update and save itself back into the flash drive. This will be the same for all Microsoft and many other applications. Another crucial step in using USB flash drives to save and transfer data is when I'm finished saving, deleting, and moving data into my flash drive is to correctly eject my flash drive from the computer. To do so, we can either right click onto our drive. When the right click menu pops up, we can hit eject. Or a second option we can do is that same icon that we were looking at in the beginning. Here on our taskbar, we can safely remove the hardware and eject the media by clicking onto this item. We can either right click or we can left click onto the icon and it gives you the option to eject. And now we see that my flash drive has been safely removed from the computer. I can now remove the flash drive from the USB port.
Okay. Thank you for taking this tour with me for the beginner's guide of flash drives. Happy saving. Bye-bye.